what am I? Who and what have I become? Homeless, strung out, pregnant, stripper. Addicted to meth, heart sick with the needle. I broke my own heart standing on the corner selling my precious body. Broken, breaking heart. I never thought I could break my own heart. But I have, over and over again. I never thought I would be doing anything like this. Never entered my mind that I would be doing anything like this. I broke my own heart when I let a man do things to me that I really didn't want him to do. It was like I was in a nightclub, like, and I was just, like I was singing the blues, telling the story. But you see, I was on drugs, and he was supplying. I got pregnant, had an abortion, and he od Who are these women? And what? What are they to you? To you? To you? Women are fabulous creatures. We're scary. We're we're much scarier than men. I mean, <laughs> we really are. You know, and you just don't. And then the the power. How do we put women in touch with their power? She's our mama. She's your lover. That woman's a woman who's going to carry your child. There's a liberation that comes with finding your voice. They can come out about who they really are, what their fears are, what their angers are, they, what they have suffered, the journey that they've taken. Before I could scream and before I could shout, he laid me out, covered my mouth and whispered, shut up, bitch. I cried. I kept it all to myself. I was raped 11 days before my 10th birthday. That was something that was imposed on me, had nothing to do with me. So you grow up thinking that something's wrong with you or that you've, you brought this on yourself or, you know, especially when you keep everything to yourself. I didn't talk to anyone about it. My rape was a crime so unspeakable, so shameful that I couldn't even talk about it up until three years ago. We all are recovering from something. And to put our truth out there is, is very awesome. I am healing the memories of being raped. I know I've done nothing wrong. Once I do my piece, I feel so relieved. I'm healing myself from the inside. I got a call from my doctor. She said, your HIV test it's positive. Some people, they get kind of like, they get nervous about the truth. But you know what? This old heart of mine, yeah. I will put it back together. Right. One piece at a time. Yeah. We get together and we talk about our struggles and we talk about things that happened to us. That way you just lift it off my shoulder and I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm kind of like free. Planned Parenthood? Did anybody mention anything about a Planned Parenthood? <sighs> Honey, I love me some Planned Parenthood. I was incarcerated in the San Bruno County Jail, and Rodessa came out into the jail, and they were doing a play, and I knew a lot of girls in the jail, so I was like, I didn't want to stay in a dorm, so I would go out and see what this was about. And I went out, and I've been there ever since. It's been 24 years. You know how we all like that alcohol and have to get to the liquor store by 2 o'clock? Yeah. Well, back in the day, me and my girl, hey. we had to be at Planned Parenthood by 4.30 to get them condoms. The dress rehearsal, I was standing back there. I got really, really emotional. You know, it's just something just magical about on my way to walking out on the stage. I just love it. You know what I'm talking about. Them condoms. <laughs> what I learned from my abortion. I haven't been incarcerated and I'm not HIV positive. And so I was, you know, wondering like, do I, will I have anything to contribute? I learned that actually almost every single woman I know has had an abortion. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. That this procedure, the one that no one talks about, everyone has had. 
everyone's story is important and everyone goes through issues around being a woman and choice in their bodies, um, you know, no matter what their background is. He was my first boyfriend. I made him wait three years and then I finally gave it up. We had sex and he stopped calling. I was devastated. And six weeks later, I was throwing up everything I ate and my period was late. So I went to Planned Parenthood alone to take a pregnancy test. And it came back positive. So I opted to have a medical abortion. We don't just have abortions and go home and like, woo, that's off my back. I'm dealing with this still and this was three years ago. That night, I tried to kill myself. Overdosing on my mother's sleeping pill, I woke up in the hospital. I never knew how precious life was until I tried to take my own. It was hard for me to have an abortion and I felt so sad and depressed afterwards, but not because I thought that I had made a mistake and not because of my, I had issues around morality, but because hormones <laughs> suddenly dropped. If I'm pregnant and I decide to have an abortion because I feel like I can't take care of my baby or my, the baby's father won't be around or whatever the reason is, I feel like that's my choice. That's nobody else's business. Our bodies have been used and abused by, other, by people other than ourselves. Because a lot of women don't have a voice and we need that. We need all women to come together to have that voice and let the congressman, whoever, this is our body. We should be able to make our own choices. Kathy, all women love babies. Felicia, all women love babies. Deborah, all are different. We, all of us women are come from different backgrounds and different places, but we all come together and we do this wonderful thing. To have that sisterhood, you know, that's pretty unique um, and it's worth a lot. We don't know how it's gonna come together until the last week of it, but it always does and it's always beautiful and it's always powerful. Medea is my life and it keeps me grounded and I'm, when, I, when I'm not there, if I'm not there for like a month or two, I miss it so much and, and it's my, my soul yearns for it. You know, it's, it's, it does something, it completes me. Art, art could be that parachute, that beautiful thing that can catch us all. I really believe that. All women love